In this video, we're going to learn about poaching. Poaching is a moist heat transfer method where we're going to use a warm liquid to slowly cook our product. So today I'm using court bouillon, which is a, a seasoned poaching liquid used oftentimes for poaching fish, um, can be used for poaching chicken as well. Um, but we can use any poaching liquid that we choose. Uh, so stocks are commonly used as poaching liquid. Uh, you could even just use uh, salted water as your poaching liquid. Um, the liquid that you use is going to impart some flavor uh, into the product that you're cooking. Uh, so the court bouillon here, which has uh, wine and lemon uh, and herbs and seasonings, is going to impart a little bit of that flavor uh, onto the product that we're using. Uh, in today's case, we're using salmon. Heat management is going to be especially important when poaching. We want to keep our poaching liquid at between 160 and 185 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. This is going to ensure a tender and juicy product. We really want to make sure not to boil our poaching liquid. Uh, boiling our poaching liquid is going to result in, instead of that really tender, juicy product, going to result in a dry and tough product. So we really want to make sure that we're regulating the temperature of our liquid. Um, today we're going to use a small uh, single serving piece of salmon. Uh, so generally for smaller pieces, uh, we're going to start poaching in uh, warm liquid. So our liquid here is already up to uh, temperature. Um, I'll go ahead and check the temperature, but when I last checked it was about 160 degrees. Um, if I was poaching, say, instead of a small piece of salmon, if I was poaching a whole salmon, uh, I would start the, the salmon in in cold water and slowly bring it up. This is again going to ensure um, a really tender and juicy product. Uh, but since we're using this small piece, uh, we're going to go ahead and start in our warm liquid. And we are perfect. I'm at 161 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're either going to use a slotted spoon uh, or a spider strainer uh, and slowly uh, submerge our product into our poaching liquid. Um, so I could do it right on the, the spider strainer or I could just use my fingers and delicately drop my salmon in. All right. <clears throat> We're going to have an initial heat drop when we put a cold product into warm liquid. So we want to bring that uh, liquid back up to that 160 to 185 degree temperature range and allow it to cook until it's reached its desired internal temperature. So uh, this piece of salmon will probably take uh, five to seven minutes to cook. Uh, so we'll check back in with you then. All right, so it's been about eight minutes and our salmon is at 130 degrees, which is going to be a nice medium. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use a spider strainer to remove the salmon from our poaching liquid. Okay. And you can see the nice delicate color that our salmon has gotten. It's really important with poaching that we're going to use enough liquid to completely cover the product. Um, if not, we wouldn't have this nice consistent color. So you really want to make sure that that piece of fish is covered um, in your poaching liquid um, and you have to account for evaporation a little bit. So if it's just covered, you want to add a little bit more um, so that there's enough liquid to cover even as it evaporates. So let's go ahead and cut into this piece of salmon and just look at some of the quality marks here. Okay. So you can see as I press on the salmon how juicy that is. And you saw how easy it was just to break apart with my fork. It really delicately just flakes apart. You can see all of that juice in there. That's exactly what we want with poached product. If we had boiled this salmon, uh, again, we would end up with a much tougher, drier cut. We wouldn't have this really soft, juicy, flaky looking fish. So let's review. Our poaching temperatures are going to be between 160 and 185 degrees. Remember, Although we want to maintain our poaching temperature, it's really important not to boil. 
Boiling instead of poaching is going to create a tough and dry product. Finally, it's okay to sm start small pieces uh, of food to poach in hot liquid, whereas with larger pieces, we're going to start in cold liquid and bring them up to our poaching temperature.